Hello, welcome back to another video. It has been a while since I have done some outfits, some thrifted outfits. As you know, by now I'm pregnant and so there was kind of a lull where I wasn't really able to do videos because I started showing before I announced I was pregnant. Then I was kind of in that awkward phase where you couldn't really tell if I was pregnant or if I just like eaten a little too much food and so I didn't really feel comfortable doing outfit videos but today I'm back I'm doing some fall inspired like transition outfits for summer to fall I've gone through my closet picked out some items that I want to wear but I really wanted to put a few outfits together with some of the items that I have and kind of like challenge myself to have some maternity outfits I did not do outfits when I was pregnant with Rhea so I kind of want to do that this time to actually like wear some of the maternity clothes that I got because I got quite a bit for this pregnancy. So I'm just going to go through, I'm going to show you the outfits that I picked out. Just fair warning, a lot of the colors are like black, gray, and green just because that's what I gravitate towards. Many of my maternity clothes are neutral, so that's going to appear a lot in this video. But hey, those colors work well in fall and I really like them. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to show you the outfits, kind of talk through them, talk through the pieces, and then I'll do a try on as well. This is going to be my new filming background for a while until we get the house all settled. Like I said, we're getting ready for baby number two and this is where I do my makeup. This has a window so I get some good lighting. I'll still do my try-ons like with the closet behind me but this is going to be kind of the setup until we get things around the house all situated. So this is the first outfit that I have picked out. I actually wore this a few weeks ago for my daughter's birthday. So I have this red dress. It is a maternity dress. It's originally from H&M but I'm pretty sure I got it secondhand. I had it during my first pregnancy. I'm may have gotten it on thread up i honestly can't remember it was so long ago but i did keep it and i want to wear this before it gets too cool because obviously it doesn't have sleeves and so i want to wear this during the warmer months of fall and when i'm filming this it's actually like 85 degrees the fall weather has not hit yet but i know it's coming and i want to get some good use of this piece before i put it away i don't think that i would wear leggings with this but i mean that's always a possibility we'll see like when I get into the cooler months if that's what I decide to do and then to go with this over top I am going to wear this sweater so this is a cable knit sweater I have had this in alpha videos I'm sure in the past this is one of my favorite pieces to wear um this one is originally from Madewell I do believe I got this at the local Goodwill but this is an easy way to transition your dresses and your skirts into fall by putting a sweater over top or some type of a sweatshirt it kind of gives a good contrast between like this is a tighter fitting dress and then this is kind of looser it's also kind of see-through so you can kind of see the dress through the cable knit holes I really do love this combo I like I said I wore this a couple weeks ago for my daughter's birthday it was cooler in the morning so I wore this over top and it was really cute so I'm gonna go ahead do the try on for this for shoes I'm gonna pick those out when I actually put the outfits on I have to go downstairs still to get my fall and winter shoes mostly my boots because i do think boots would look good with the majority of these but you might see me wearing like my keds i have some thrifted keds from thread up that probably would pair well it's kind of weird like in fall i don't really know what type of shoes to wear like it's becoming too cool to wear sandals but it's not cool enough to wear like boots so we'll see what shoes i end up pairing with this outfit all right here is the first outfit i absolutely love this it's so comfortable and like i said it's a really good way to transition a summer piece a summer dress into fall and i'm really glad i got to pair this sweater with the outfit for shoes i didn't actually have a pair of thrifted shoes that i really liked for this because i'm not wearing leggings and the dress is on the shorter side which i know you can't see it all the way but it does hit it about my knees i just put on a pair of flip-flops i feel like you can still wear sandals in september when it's still a little bit warmer out so i just went ahead and paired just like some neutral flip-flops with the outfit. I feel like you can't really see my bump in this, at least from the front, but as soon as I turn to the side, you can very clearly see that it's there. I mentioned that this is a maternity dress, so it's really comfortable, really stretchy, but from the front, because of the layers and the textures, it does just kind of look like a 
regular outfit for me but like I said really easy way to pair some of your summer stuff and your winter stuff together and get some good use out of them the next outfit looks really similar to what I have on I wore this the other day and I thought it was just a really simple cute combo for the fall oh yeah I remember where I wore this outfit I wore it in an Instagram reel I'm just have not a great memory these days, but I put it in an Instagram reel, so I will go ahead and put my Instagram <laughs> handle up so you can go and check that out. For the dress, I have this gray dress. It is originally from the garage. I believe I thrifted it at the local Goodwill. I also recently thrifted this jacket from the Goodwill, and I had it in one of my vlogs. I kind of shared it because I had like very mini thrift haul. Anyways, I really love this dress. It is one of my favorite dresses that I have in my closet. It's a really like long, shapeless, just gray dress. I wear it a lot. I wore it during my last pregnancy as well before I was sharing that I was pregnant. I wore it to the office for like an event. So I just put on like a nice jacket over top and it worked really well. I am 17 weeks when I'm filming this, so I'm very much showing through the dress. Like you can absolutely tell when I'm wearing it, but that's okay. And then over top, I'm going to wear this green jacket. This is another way to wear a dress and transition it from summer to fall. I don't think I'm going to wear leggings or tights with this, but you absolutely could. But by putting the kind of bigger, thicker jacket, you're able to go outside, maybe on like a cooler day, but still feel like you're warm like I wore this out the other morning and I feel like I was really warm even though it was like a cooler morning and my like legs were you know showing so I'm gonna go ahead style this I do think I'm gonna put boots with this I usually wear booties with this dress so we'll kind of see like what I decide and how it looks here is the next outfit this is the one that I said I did a styling video for on Instagram. I did a reel. I absolutely love this. It totally is giving me supernatural vibes. I don't remember if I mentioned that in this video. I just filmed it yesterday and I already can't remember. But I know I've mentioned it before that I really like jackets like this for that supernatural vibe and I feel like it totally fits that. I went ahead and wore this with the collar up. I don't know how well you're gonna see but the collar actually doesn't lay down very well. I'm sure if I ironed it it would stay down. But I kind of feel like that makes the look a little bit even more like good for fall i really love this the dress is very cute very comfortable get a little bit of the bump <laughs> profile in for shoes i would go ahead and just wear my harley davidson's or probably some other lower top booty with this i definitely could wear this with tights or leggings on like a cooler day but i am just have like bare legs <laughs> with this outfit so I would wear like some thinner wool socks and then lace up my Harley Davidson's. I'm not gonna do it for this video because it takes kind of a long time to put these on and it's already uncomfortable for me to bend over and tie my shoes. But yes, I would definitely wear these with this outfit. I feel like it pair really well. Here is the next combo that I have picked. Again, it's green. I really like greens. I have a lot of green pieces in my collection. For the top, I have a crop top. We're gonna see how this looks. This I got from Thread of last summer I absolutely love it this is originally from wild fable so target and it is a little bit big on me normally so last summer when I was still breastfeeding this fit me really well and then I noticed over like the winter months that it didn't fit me as well so I'm thinking now that I'm pregnant and I have gotten my chest has gotten a little bit bigger I think this is gonna look really good on top now we'll see how it looks with the bump for the bottom and the reason I'm gonna go ahead and pair the crop top with this is a skirt and this skirt is actually kind of big it's bigger than my normal size I think I got it from thread up and I ended up keeping it and I'm literally glad I did because I'm gonna be able to wear this either over my bump and it's still gonna fit comfortably and be a good length or I can just like kind of tie it in the middle of my bump and it's not going to be like so tight that it's uncomfortable so I think if I wear it a little bit higher and then pair the crop top with it it's going to look really cute be really flattering and because it's such a long skirt it is full length I don't feel like I need to wear a jacket with this if you want to you absolutely could I probably would wear my denim jacket with this but I feel like it's a full outfit even for the fall time because it is such a long skirt and also because because it is so dark. For shoes, I do think I'm gonna pair my Keds with this. I have a pair of thrifted black Keds. I feel like that'll look really cute with this and kind of contrast the skirt and the dainty top. So I'm gonna go ahead, 
do the try on and see what it looks like. All right, here is the outfit with the long skirt and the crop top. I'm not sure how I feel about this, not gonna lie. I thought that I could put the skirt up above my bum and it would like look almost like a maternity skirt, but I just don't know if it's working the way that I thought it was going to. It's not like bad, I'm totally comfortable in this and I would wear out. It kind of doesn't even look like I'm pregnant um, unless I like actually pull the skirt down so you can see the bump but I do really love the top I've, I've always really loved this top it's one of my favorite shirts I haven't really worn it this summer because like I said it was kind of on the bigger side this summer when because my chest was smaller after breastfeeding but like I said it's gotten a little bit bigger <laughs> since being pregnant and so I do really like the way it fits it looks really good I'll have to like maybe wear it with a pair of jeans like maybe a pair of maternity jeans I do love the skirt it is so cute it reminds me of like a pirate skirt or something Thing like that it does have a slit at the bottom which I think is really flattering it also helps with like the movement as you're walking for the shoes I did pair my black Keds with this they're super comfortable really easy to put on I tend to wear like tennis shoes and stuff like that in the fall months it's just like when I like to wear shoes like that so yeah I do think it's really cute with the shoes I guess if I wanted to try and make this work a different way I could like put the skirt down like below my bump <laughs> um, but then it just kind of is in a weird spot on my waist and I feel like it's just not as flattering like as the length is so I don't know I do like it higher up and I could wear it just like over the bump like right now it's not too uncomfortable and like I said this is kind of a bigger size on me anyways so I can kind of make it work so for my last outfit i wanted to wear a vest so here i have another green piece um this is one of my favorite vests it's thrifted it's originally from lucky i got it from the local thrift store and i like to wear long sleeves with this usually i do wear it over dresses sometimes like short sleeve dresses in the summertime i thought i could try wearing it with a short sleeve top and leggings to see what that looks like maybe wear like my knee high boots we'll kind of see what I end up doing with that but this shirt I actually this is also thrifted from the local thrift store and I got this during my last pregnancy and just saved it in my maternity clothes it's not a maternity shirt but it is it is quite large on me and I ended up packing it away because after I lost weight after having my first daughter I I didn't need to wear this anymore like I felt like it was too big on me so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna try this on and see what it looks like it is blue and white stripes I have one that is really similar to this that's green and white stripes and I had pulled that one out too but I'm gonna go with the blue like I said I'm going to wear this vest over top and I'm gonna go ahead and pair it with just some maternity leggings I have several pair of black maternity leggings so you can wear whatever leggings would be most comfortable for you and then like I said I'm gonna try and do the knee-high boots I'm not really the type of person that likes to wear knee-high boots in like September I'm cool with wearing booties or like a lower topped booty but I really don't like wearing like knee-high ones until like October I don't know that's just me so we'll kind of see what it looks like um obviously if you're you can wear whatever you want any time of year so we'll see what this looks like all paired together all right here is the final outfit this is super comfortable super my style I can totally see myself wearing this several times over the coming weeks so you may see this show up on Instagram but I really love this I think it would work really well on a little bit of a like cool to warm day like if it's 70 degrees you want to wear a short sleeve shirt but maybe you want to wear pants I feel like this would work really well so that you have that second layer to kind of keep yourself warm I love this jacket it has pockets on the side so I can throw my phone in and I don't have to like carry a purse or anything. I feel like the shirt is just so comfortable. I mentioned I have two of these. One is more green and has like a little knot in it and they're just so comfortable. They're regular shirts but I feel like they work really well for the second trimester specifically because you can just wear like an oversized t-shirt um, and just kind of looks like a tunic but as you get bigger it can kind of just become a t-shirt. If you wanted to this would look really good with jeans as well. I thought about pairing this with like some maternity jeans and I have some and I think that that would look really cute with it as well. The shirt is not so long where I feel like it would not look good with jeans but it's still like 
long enough where it covers everything up. For shoes with this outfit, I decided I would pair it with some more lower top booties. I mentioned when I was actually talking about the pieces that maybe I would wear like my knee high boots with it, but I just don't really like wearing those until like October, November, and I feel like I have to wear those with a long sleeve shirt. So I went ahead and I just grabbed these. These are thrifted from the local <laughs> thrift store and I love them. I've had them for three or four years. They are actually kind of becoming damaged at the front because I've just worn them out so much. I absolutely love them. I hope I can find a pair similar to these when these do come to the end of their life. Anyways, I really like wearing these with just about everything. I love wearing them with dresses, jeans, looks really good with leggings, and I would just wear like probably some wool socks to keep my legs warm. I feel like this shirt definitely shows the belly. Like I feel like even like looking at myself front facing, you can see it, but definitely get a little side action there so you can see the bump from the side. So yeah, like I said, super comfortable and I will be wearing this, I know, over the next couple of weeks. This outfit would look really cute with the jacket that I wore earlier in the video, the darker green one. So if you wanted to wear something with long sleeves, put that over top and you've got another outfit. All right, those are my four outfits that I chose for transitioning from summer to fall, all thrifted items, of course. I really enjoy thrifting and so I do the same for maternity clothes. I feel like it's really important to stick to that even during my pregnancy. I'm probably gonna do some more outfit videos like this during my pregnancy, probably more specifically like maternity outfits. We'll kind of see what happens. Let me know which one of these outfits was your favorite let me know what you're wearing for the fall time what are the trends what do you like to wear i hope you're having a really good day and a good week when you see this and i'll see you in my next video bye